श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्किकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्गो मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय श्रीवासरंग पर मुनीत्रक्षण दिवगागम आचार्य भक्तिपरिपूतमर्गशील गोपाल देशिक मुनि गुरमाश्रयाम व्यास वशिष्ठनता शक्ते पौत्रमकमशम पराशरात्मजम वंदे सुखता तपो निधि सो फोर् श्लोका बिकाज आफ् आचार्य कृप दिव्य दंपती ग्रेस श्री एफ पति श्रीमारायण अनुग्रह वि आर् फारचुनेट टू हाव दिस् टाइम एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर् रिसाइटिंग विष्णु सहसनाम फॉर् लर्निंग विष्णु सहसनाम विच इज क्वैट पवर्फु इट हाज बीन ग्लोरीफाइड बै द ऋषी बै सेजस् अंड बै द आचार्या अंड द आलवा सेंट्स द भागवता and all even the present day acharyas celebrate the nama sankirtana because they they say in the kali yukam the nama sankirtana benefits us easily so we have enjoyed four shlokas in the last few weeks today is the fifth shlokam <coughs> swayam bho shambhur aditya pushkaraksho mahashwanah अनादिनिदनो धाथा विधाथा धातुर्तम स्वयंभु वी विल जस्ट लुक एट द वन लाइनर एंड देन एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग्स द डीपर मीनिंग्स बिहाइंड ईच वन लाइनर स्वयंभु मीन्स द वन हू बिकम स्वयंभु वन हू मैनिफेस्ट हिमसेल बै हिस् ओन संकल्प बै हिस् ओन फ्री विल ही इज कंप्लीटली free he is a swatantra he is independent he manifests himself and that is swayambhu shambhu swayambhu shambhu shambhu means one who causes blissful joy happiness to everyone by the beauty of his appearance by the beauty of his form one who causes happiness by looking at him we feel terribly at peace full of joy looking at him aditya he is the one who is the aditya aditya means the sun he is in the antaryami the indweller of the sun he is there as the, in the as the antaryami roopam in the solar galaxy in the solar system pushkaraksha he is the lotus eyed pushkaraksha he has got the lo- lotus flower like just bloomed fresh lotus like eyes so beautiful just bloomed so lovely and nice to look at mahaswanah he is of the venerable divine sound anadi nidhanah one who is without beginning and one who is without an end ana ana adi nidana he has got no beginning and he has got no end data vidata daturuttamaha data data means he is the creator not dada data data creator he is the creator vidata he is the producer so he is the director as well as the producer daturuttamaha one who is the best He is the best among the beings. He is the Purushottama. He is the Dhaturuttama. So that's the straightforward meaning of this of this slogan. Swayambhu, he who manifests all by himself, because he is he is great for the sake of devotees. Supreme Brahman manifests itself. He manifests in all beings. अंतर्बिश्चतत्सर्व्याप्य नारायण स्थि तत्सृष्टि तदनु प्रवेश तदेवाशते द उपनिषत् सेज हि एंटर्स इन टू इट एंड ही हि मैनिफेस्ट इन इट एंड हि डायरेक्शन कंट्रोल हि सेज ई गेट इन टू मै ओन प्रकृति आम ई एम बॉन्ड ऑफ बै मै ओन फ्री विल हि सेज सो द हि refers here the hari vamsha mentions that he brings back the vaidika brahmin 
from Sri Vaikuntam because when he learnt when he learnt that his Acharya his uh, one of the one of the Bhagavatam one of the Brahmins had lost his son and he, he, they were taken away by Sri Devi, Bhu Devi and Neela Devi to Sri Vaikuntam, the sons of the Brahmin. So when Krishna came to know, he went with Arjuna to Sri Vaikuntam and brought back the, the sons of the Vaidika. So he is splendor, he manifests himself, he has got his own Sankalpam. And that is Swayambhu, Shambhu. He is the source of happiness. He is Shambhu. He causes happiness by his beauty. Pumsam Trishti Chitta Paharina. Rupaudharya Gunai Pumsam Trishti Chitta Paharina. When Rama walks in the Mithila along with Lakshmana and sage Vishwamitra while he was going to the Sita's palace, Vishwamitra takes the boys to Janaka's palace, King Janaka's palace. To show them the divine bow. So, when he went there, even when they were walking in the street, the people from the balcony, people from the from the houses on both sides of the street, they were looking at Sri Rama. They saw his, they saw his shoulders, and they could not take the eyes off the shoulder, the majestic strong shoulder the broad divine chest, the most beautiful red lotus like eyes, the coral, the pavalam, coral mouth, the lips and his beautiful feet, the long limbs, the chubby cheeks, the aquiline nose and the curly tresses that form below the, below the kiritam. What a beautiful vision they beheld. And they could not take their eyes off the shoulder. The other people who were looking at the, at the chest, they could not take their eyes off the chest. They could not take their eyes off the eyes, the Lord Rama's eyes. They could not take the eyes from the kiritam, from the cheeks. Because it is so beautiful, they could not take. They were simply held frozen by the most beautiful look. And that they were so having a blissful moment looking at Lord Sri Ramachandra Murthy's form. So Pumsam Drishti Chitta Paharina. They their eyes were stolen by the beauty of Rama. Their heart, they lost their heart at the beauty of Rama. Lord, uh, the, our Lord Sri Ramachandra along with Sita and Lakshmana when they were walking in the forest. Kamban says when they were walking, when, then, when people, Maharishis were looking at Rama's beauty, they could not compare Rama's beauty with anything. Kamban says in Tamil, Mayo Marakadamo Marikadalo Marimugilo Ayyo Ivan Alahenna Ayya Alahudaya. Is he a Mai, the collyrium, the Kajal? which the women apply on their, in their eyes. It adds beauty to their eyes. Is he that kajal? Is he that collyrium, that mai? Doesn't look like. Mai is nothing compared to his beauty. Maragadam. He could be the dark gem, blue-hued gem, gemstone. Maragadamo. Then Kamban is not happy. Mari Kadalo. Is he the dark, vast, the, the blue, Ocean, the deep blue ocean. Is he of that color? He is still not happy because it is saline. Whereas Lord is so sweet. Then he says, Marai Mughilo. Is he the rain bearing cloud when it is about to burst to the heavy torrential downpour? It looks so beautiful. One can cannot stop admiring the beauty of the dark clouds. Is he that? Then he says, Oh my God, Ayo, even Alahenna, Ariya, Arahudaya. I am not able to put him into any words. He is beyond, beyond a description. 
he is simply ineffable indescribable in words ayyo ivan alagenna aliya alagudayan he is eternal beauty and that's what he is shambhu swayambhu shambhu aditya he is the sun he is the indweller in the sun antaryami roopam in the sun in sandhya vandanam we say dhyaya sada savitru mandala madhyavarti he is there in the middle of the solar system he is majestic resplendent he who is seen in the interior of the sun is the supreme brahman because the qualities that are mentioned pertain only to brahman pushkarakshah he is the lotus eyed lord his eyes are so so beautiful tripanalvar says karyavagi podai parand milirnd shevariyodiya neenda periyavaya kankalyanai pedame seidanave the long well laid out well spread out ruddy lined beautiful large darting charming eyes have completely stupefied me have maddened me i i have fallen in love with those eyes tripanaal was says when 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 ramanuja and his shishyas were walking in the kaveri shore the banks of the kaveri there was one wrestler who was strong muscular guy by name pillai urangavilli and pillai urangavilli was a wrestler those times and he he was quite handsome but he was holding an umbrella at on his beloved who was walking by him by his side he held an umbrella for her and he was admiring her beautiful eyes she was very pretty she had large beautiful eyes so he was admiring her eyes and was walking in that sun and the shishyas of ramanuja were laughing for his for his act so ramanuja said go bring him call him that i want to talk to him so he called so these two were getting they 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 were scared so they came near and they said namaskaram swami ramanuja asked why are you holding umbrella to your beloved to that girl he says can anyone match her eyes nobody can match the beauty of her eyes i am simply in love with her eyes it's so beautiful and hence i'm mad after those eyes i cannot take my eyes off her beautiful eyes so ramanuja said if i show you the eyes which are more beautiful than hers what would you do he said i will fall in i will fall at your feet the one who shows those eyes i will become servant i i will serve you forever there cannot be a be- more beautiful eyes than hers so ramanuja said come come with me he takes him straight to lord sri ranganatha in sri rangam he goes into the sanctum sanctorum the sannidhi and he says this particular pasuram of tripanalva paryanagi avanudal kinda in that karyavagi pudai parand milirnd shevariyodiya ninda apperiyavaya kankalyanai pedamai seidanave and he explained that look at those eyes he showed the acharya held on to his hand and showed him the most beautiful large darting well laid out well spread out red lotus like eyes of lord sri ranganatha when acharya shows the lord shows the eyes to the devotee when he actually showed his most beautiful eyes to pillai urangavilli he was simply overwhelmed with tears with emotions that cannot be eyes equivalent to lord's eyes he fell at that moment at the feet of ramanuja he became an ardent shishya of ramanuja along with that girl by name pillai urangavilli dasar he and uh, and her name was ponnachi so they both became extremely ardent shishyas so pushkarakshah the lotus eyed mahaswanah he is of venerable sound 
He is indeed the Vedas. His breath, breath is Vedas. Vedas were never authored by anyone. It is his breath which is Veda. He is the charming Purusha shining in the interior of the sun. The Veda says. So, in the, it is mentioned in the Moksha Dharma that I am the eternal Purusha who is in the solar orbit and who is closely associated with Vidya. So, he is of the sound Pranavam. He is the sound of the Pranavam which is in which is the beginning of the Vedas. When we say Hari Om, He is of that venerable sound. Anadi Nidanaha. He is the one who has got no beginning and who has got no end. And He is the one who is Datha, the creator, and Vidatha, the, the producer. Datu Ruttamaha. He is far superior to the Brahma. Brahma, we say, is the creator. Brahma is not the creator. He has been assigned, delegated with the formula to create. So, it is Perumal who gave birth to the Chaturmukha Brahma on his lotus from the navel. And Chaturmukha Brahma, the four-faced Brahma, is the one who was given the power to create, to do the Srishti. Whereas actual Dhata is the creator. That's the glory of Bhagavan which is superior to that of Chaturmukha Brahma and others because of his being the cause of all things. So here Brata, Bharta in the 33rd name we say which is the same but Dhata signifies that Bhagavan in the form of, in the, form of the Lord he places Brahma the, the, as the delegation of authority the great brahman so the great brahman the brahman the god is the one who is the creator vidata the producer bhagavan is called vidata because he creates brahma at first and then creates other beings so from him virat brahma was born Hiranya Garbha Pashyata Jayamanam Tasmat Virada Jayata Purusha Suktam says Therein was Brahma born Chaturmaka Brahma himself who is known as the grand sire of the universe Tasmin Chajnye Swayam Brahma Sarvaloka Pitamaha Brahma is our Pitamahan He is the one who, who was the first created by the Lord Datu Ruttamaha far superior to Brahma. Bhagavan is far superior to the one who created other beings because he was only a Jivatma attaining that position. From this it goes without saying that Brahman, Sriman Narayana is superior to all Daksha Pratapatis who are created by that Brahma. The Devas, the Asuras, everybody who was created by Brahma. So, he is, Narayana is the supreme Tattvam. Paro Narayana Deva Tasma Jata Chaturmukaha. Tattvam Narayana Paraha. Narayana Param Brahma Tattvam Narayana Paraha. Says Purusha Sukta. So, Sriman Narayana is the ultimate. He is the supreme Lord. Says Vishnu Sagasnama. Adiyan Danyospi. Kavitarkika Simhaya Kalyana Gunasharine Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Guravenama. Then you're spending.